Welcome to the Janet Love Show, where the world of intuition is explored through empowerment in health, relationships, and spirituality. Tune up your intuitive awareness with divine insights from Janet Love. Come through the door of discovery where your own intuitive power is revealed. Call the show at 646 646- 478-3089 or join the chat now as Janet welcomes your questions and comments in this show's topic. Welcome everyone. This is the Janet Love Show and I'm Janet Love here on Web Talk Radio. If you joined the show before, you know that our main emphasis is empowerment. Empowerment in health, empowerment in every part of what living in the 21st century should be about. As you know, if you listen to me, that we continue in the traditional world to live in a one-dimensional viewpoint only. Traditional medicine, a lot of the other main organizations of our current world stick to that idea that we're only a one-dimensional being. And that I know, as many other experts know that have been on my show, that we really live in a multi-dimensional world. And it encompasses not only our bodies, but the world itself and how we interface with it. This is what quantum physics is all about. Well, my guest today, Chris, has brought to us a unique point of view. He is an energy healer. He brings a a very specific point of view about the way the body is created, the way it's made, and how it works and how it interchanges. And I do a lot of this work myself, so I'm very familiar with Chris Keeler's work. And I want to welcome to the show Chris Keeler from Canada. You're in Canada, Chris. Tell um, Tell us about your work and how it began for you. Uh, the idea of becoming a healer. Nine years ago, when my first wife passed away, I was able to retire from the printing industry. I worked pretty hard at it for about 30 years, and I thought it's time to take a little break. And the old saying goes, one door closes, another door opens. Having nothing to do, because I'm still relatively young but not working, I thought I would venture down this road that was set before me, meeting certain people doing this type of work. And and again, long story short, I started the journey and I'm continuing on that journey at, at a very successful rate. So basically, meeting the right people, being in the right place at the right time, and just basically following all the cues of the universe to follow this work. That's a good way to put it. There's usually signs, aren't there, along the road that take Many. Us where we're supposed to go. Yeah, usually they're knocking on our door pretty loud. And at once, and it, you know, everything happens for a reason and a purpose. As much as losing your wife, I'm sure, was difficult, uh, a new door opened for you, and you walked through it, and you took advantage. So let's do real quickly how to reach you up there in Canada, and uh, by website, uh, email, however you want to give that to listeners who may want to contact you. The best thing to do is take a look at my website, Chris. Kaler.net, C-H-R-I-S-K-E-H-L-E-R.net. All of my contact information is on there. If you want to get a hold of me, best thing to do is email. That's the best way for me to get back to you right away. Very yeah, easy I to get a hold of. If you email me tonight, I will get back to you by tomorrow. Great. And all the contact, it's real clear on the website. And you can book, se- book uh, sessions there. It's all clear, very clear. He also lists all of his services that he offers. And I kind of want to dig into those for listeners that might be new to energy work. I do energy work myself. Everyone, there's a little different. There's many kinds of energy work for listeners who may be new to energy medicine. And they're all valid and they all have basis in science, various kinds of sciences. Even a lot of the ancient healing arts are all based in science. They're just, we're just kind of catching up to the ancient truth. So let's talk a little bit about what interested you in this and and, uh, go into some of the, because some of them I've heard of, but I have personally not used them, such as the pyramids, read extensively about it, but you call them crystalline pyramids and, of course, energy tools. I've seen them, but I have not personally used them. So talk about that a little bit. The unique thing about the energy tools, and they're created by a company in, in Alberta, Canada, called Crystalline Incorporated, and they fellow sells them all over the world. The person who makes them is one person, one person only, and he puts a lot of his energy uh, into these tools as he makes them. Now, the unique thing about the tools, there's pyramids, there's wands, there's a few Mm -hmm. different tools that he makes. What I like about the tools, they are amplifier and an antenna for the quantum energy that we're utilizing to do the healing. So if you're using your hands doing Reiki, and you may be doing a very good job at it, but if you used a tool along with it, 
it will enhance the, the energy quite a bit. Now, <clears throat> very unique thing about using the tools is that when you're doing an energy clearing, when you're using the tools, you're not going to take on a lot of the energies that you're removing from your clients. So many of my clients are energy healers themselves, and you may find that <clears throat> certain energy healers, certain people in, the, in this realm do get sick themselves. And they will come to me and I will help to clear them out of whatever they absorb. So the tools are very good for removing the negative energies so you don't absorb them yourself. And let's explain that to listeners a little bit that may, again, not have had an experience with an energy practitioner. Uh, you know, I came out of that world where I knew nothing about energy work. And uh, my long, long story of getting overcoming a very long, chronic, serious illness was the introduction of energy therapies, energy tools into my life, some of them very significant and made a huge difference. I mean, I got well using them. They weren't a cure, but if I had not had them, I would not have gotten well. Talk a little bit about the way the body works from your point of view. The body is not just physical. So why would energy you know, for instance, you said energy practitioners, I know exactly what you mean, can often pick up energy from other people and they have to be careful and they have to purge it and clear it and all of that. But tell listeners that may not have that understanding how from your point of view and working with a client, you see their body systems. Because it is a system, isn't it? It certainly is. And the way I work is outside the box, so far outside the box, in fact, that there just is no parameters to it. And what I like to view the body as is a biocomputer. So if we have programs, if we have different viruses within us, it can all be done uh, on a computer level, let's say. Having said that, if you have a, a program within your body, and, and this is some kind of negative program that a lot of people talk about, this program can be addressed as an algorithm, which is a way that computer programmers use to create a program within the computer we have sitting in front of us. So if, if I address the problem in a computer language, then sometimes it's a lot easier to, to get in and remove it. The universal law says if you identify the problem, where it is and what it is, it has to leave. So the better you can identify something, then you're going to have much more success. So I like to view the body as a quantum bio computer. You've got the DNA that is the, the program and the hard drive. You have the brain as a processor and so on. So if you view it that way, things are a little easier to understand so, so that you can do a lot more benefit for somebody on the other end. Yeah, and I like the word identify. Um, it's really about awareness. Um, people often say, well, how could you fix something you can't see? Because essentially our own... And there's a difference between the brain and the mind. There are two different kinds of, you know, the brain is more like the tool. The brain is the organ. But the mind is something that's much more a quantum effect. And by incorporating what you're talking about, using these tools to channel that energy, removing it from the body, or perhaps in some cases would you not uh, perhaps release it? There might be different ways that your tools do it. I'm not sure. But essentially you're basically getting the body, the physical body, in better shape by addressing the energy body. Would that be one way to say it? Yeah, absolutely. Now here's, here's another concept that I work on, and this in, involves quantum entanglement, which is something that has been uh, termed by quantum physicists, and there is validity to it if, if you want to research it. There's, there's quite a bit of information. By working within certain energy bodies, and I call them selves, S-E-L-F-S, -S, our, our selves. So I work within the future self, the mirror self, the parallel self, the higher self, all these different selves. And traditionally, if you took a Reiki course or a quantum touch course, you would learn about the causal body, the, the mental body, the emotional body, and so on. I look at it a little differently. In a quantum entanglement point of view, let, let's use this as an example. If you're a person experiencing a lot of rheumatoid arthritis symptoms where your body is locking up and your muscles are in spasm and, and you don't have a lot of flexibility. What, could, what this could be is that your future self or another aspect of you for that matter has died. So through quantum entanglement, you are experiencing the symptoms of rigor mortis. To find out exactly what is going on with these 
really in-depth chronic health problems, MS, ALS, rheumatoid arthritis, all of these different health problems, you really got to think outside the box and use the, the brain that God gave you to figure these out. And, and that's what I do. That's what my research is targeted on, is to figure these things out. All these problems that, that the medical system doesn't have an answer for, and some of them are actually really, really simple if you think about it. That's what I try to do is, is to figure it all out, and put all the pieces together, and, and create a healing. Well, you're really working with this blueprint, the template is what you're describing because a lot of people don't realize their body is just like building a house. In order to build a house, you have to have a blueprint. You have to have all the components, and that's sort of what goes together uh, when we are born and come into this life. There is a template, a blueprint. I personally believe that disease is a product of time itself, and what you just described about going into a future self for listeners that this may be new to what he's really talking about is that outside of our current worldview, the one that you can see every day, you get up, you go to work, pay your bills, this is a time-based reality. But what quantum physics and entanglement, as you are talking about, really is talking about the invisible world that you can't see but has a direct impact on the physical world that you do feel. And the body can become diseased because there's things going on out there that you can't see but you can process through awareness and a lot of the tools and technologies that Chris uses. And in doing that, what you're really saying is you're kind of either going into the, what would be called the future because really in time, that's how we perceive it. Outside of time, that's really not what it is, but it doesn't matter as long as you're going out there and kind of editing the blueprint. Would that be a way to, to simplify what you said? Yeah, that is a good way to put it. And ultimately, I always try to explain things so people can sit down and wrap their heads around it so you can understand it. Talking in very big language and very big scientific terms doesn't do a lot for people who aren't at that level. Right. So explaining things a certain way or trying to understand it a certain way helps us to get further down the road with it. Yes? Sometimes it's a matter of faith. You know, I've had people say, well, I just don't under, I use a lot of technology and, um, you know, I don't understand the technology and I'll say, well, have the experience and if it doesn't, if it doesn't do anything for you, well, then fine. But nine times out of 10, it's a remarkable experience. And I'm, I'm sure that's what you're talking about. People come to you because they get an experience, even if they don't understand it completely, their bodies respond to it. And ultimately, that's what they're looking for. I don't know if you do, Chris, but I personally believe that the reason there are not answers for uh, many of these conditions that are out there in the traditional medicine doesn't have responses to comes from the fact that there's a limited awareness of how we work. And what you're really doing is introducing people to the other alternate equation, no matter how we word it. And there's every kind of person out there that would want perhaps to have the science knowledge. I was like that. I wanted to understand it. Other people are, are okay with just, okay, well, I've got an energy body and there's a malfunction, and, and as long as this tool can work with it, I'm happy with that. Every kind of person that wants to have a variety. You've got um, uh, something coming up. I know you're going to talk about it towards the end, but you are teaching people this now, right, or you're going to be. What I've done is I've gotten to a point with my work where pretty much 95% finding all of the problems and able to work with them that's very close to curing all these very, very chronic diseases. And I have taken all of the charts that I have that I've uh, created in the last nine years, and I've digitized them all. I've created a way for people to be able to use these charts, use the tools within a course I've created. So if you go on to my website, chriskaler.net, you're able to purchase this course, and you're also going to be getting all of my knowledge along with it. So when you buy the course, you also are getting me along with it, where we're going to do a few sessions here and there, and we're going to help you through this so it can work for you, for your family, for your community. Ultimately, what we want to do here is create a way for someone to become the healer of the family or the healer of the community so that people can actually get rid of their health problems. Absolutely, and what you're ultimately talking about is empowerment and teaching people how to take full responsibility for their own health. Not that doctors aren't useful or needed. They are. There's things that, you know, you need help with. You've got a broken leg. You need it reset. But some of these more challenging autoimmune illnesses, for instance, there's always an emotional component and all the other things that we read about. But 
finding a tool, this has always been my premise, finding a tool, becoming more self-sufficient so that you can work through those energy blockages and resistances. A, makes, doesn't mean you don't need other people or therapists, but it makes you the one that's more in charge. And then you begin to learn how to bring together um, all those components. And that's kind of what you're doing in your course, I'm assuming, is you're going to give modules and they learn gradually how to get better and have more confidence using perhaps even the uh, pyramids or whatever ways you do. Do you have a variety of um, hands-on, or is it mostly using the technology itself? It's generally all, all using tools. The pyramids, the, the different rings that, that I carry, it's using the tools. That is the safest way that anybody can get into this who doesn't have a lot of knowledge about it. And, of course, again, I'm going to coach you along with it. I'm going to show you exactly – I'm going to show you how to remove an entity properly w without damaging it or damaging yourself or the client. I'm going to show you yeah. how, to, how, to, yeah, how to remove depression very successfully within one Let's session. Let's talk about those are fascinating because I find those fascinating. I work with that. A lot of people don't understand that there are – other beings out there that, that not, we can't see, but they do interface. And there's many reasons for that, which we won't go into. It's too, too complicated. But <laughs> talk about that a little bit, because I know you do, as I do, energy work in person and long distance. And you can remove entities and, and deal with any of these issues. Some, I'm assuming your chronic cases uh, require uh, more than one session, as mine do. But you're basically along the way trying to teach people to become empowered and learn to do this for themselves, which I believe in and I commend, and that's what I do. Um, but talk briefly about, first, let's talk about entities, and second, then talk about a long-distance session and what that means. Well, an entity is, is some type of spirit that has attached on to you. Now, when we die on, on this planet, it's all believed that we go to heaven or we go to hell, and, and that's where we spend the rest of our days. For many, many spirits, when somebody dies, they just wander the planet. They just wander the earth, and they'll look for somebody or somebody to attach onto so that they can enjoy life again. Let's say that person, when they died, they were a smoker. Now, they can't experience smoking a cigarette because, of course, they're now an entity. So if they were to put themselves within somebody's body who is a smoker, they can then enjoy the wonders of smoking a cigarette if that's what you want to do. In a lot of ways, that, that is what's happening. And when that entity comes into your body, it creates disturbance and disruption within your vibration. And that in itself will cause your body to, let's say, uh, fire up the autoimmune system or attack mm -hmm. it with, uh, with free radical cells and then causing other problems like scar tissue. So the entity comes in and then it causes a domino effect of other problems that come in. Absolutely. And this, again, for some people, this is, you know, normal language. For, for new people that may, just, that may catch this show, it's all fascinating and new for them. But these entities, a lot of people don't believe that can happen. People that have particularly religious views don't believe that can happen. It really has nothing to do with, and I'm sure you would agree, with a belief. It has to do just the way our structures are made. And by waking up and being aware, often you, these things cannot apply to you or attach to you or connect. And you're absolutely right. They will manifest. Um, I've run into it myself where you'll even smell the cigarette smoke uh, in particular or even the alcohol, and the person may not even drink or smoke, but because they've had something attached, it comes through them. And I like the way you've connected it because I believe a lot of addictions are really based in this. Uh, do you find that in your work? Addictions, yes, absolutely. An entity is, is definitely going to be evolved in one way, shape, or form. You know, addictions can be many different things, but yes, ultimately there can be something within you that is driving you to these addictions. Absolutely. So often when you remove the entity, and there may be layers to it, but moving those out and then closing off the areas where they've been accessing can help a person um, begin to stabilize, and if they have addictions, often get them under management or even I've seen them leave altogether. It depends. Everybody's unique. So I, that's a topic by itself at the show, I think. It's a fascinating topic. <laughs> but let's, um, let's talk about with the time we've got left. Uh, talk about how a person, when you work with someone, you do a long-distance session. Explain what that even means in quantum terms and in a way that's simple. I'm in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, and 99% of all my clients are in the United States. Many are in California, is very big, Florida. I do have many other clients in Australia, Europe, uh, you name it. I've got clients everywhere. And basically, energy is just that. It's energy. 
And energy travels at the speed of quantum energy, which is instant. It's faster than light. So just by using the telephone or Skype, when you make the intent with the tools through Skype, through the telephone, it works just as if you're sitting right here. It's quantum entanglement because your frequency is right here in my office on the phone or on Skype. It's as if you're sitting right here and you, we get the exact same result. And I like to say it on, and absolutely, that's exactly how it works. I always can tell people, just think of your body as www.chriskaler.com. You have a domain that you don't see, but it's there, and you can interface between each other. What we see here is nothing to do with the invisible realms, and that's the beauty of it. Um, and again, I'm sure you find this. Somebody who's new to it, their first experience, and they have a shift, or they feel it, or they feel better, Nine times out of ten, they usually feel better. That's what grabs them. It was for me. I know the first time I had a long-distance session, I wasn't sure about it. But, boy, it was remarkable. It took, I had severe pain at the time. It took, it took it down, gone. So when you realize that, for listeners, this is new to, when you have an issue that's you know, serious, pain or whatever, and you have a session like this and you have that kind of experience, it'll wake you up pretty quickly to the power and the possibility that lies within this kind of work. Um, with the time that we have left, I want you to go ahead and give listeners one more time uh, how to reach you. Give us that information one more time. Yes, once again, my website is chriskaler.net, K-E-H-L-E-R.net. I do have many videos on YouTube. Uh, you can just search my name on YouTube. I've got a couple hundred different videos that explain my work. I am on Facebook also. I'm all over the place, Janet. <laughs> You've you got to be out there. Otherwise, you're just going to be sitting by yourself. Yeah. Visit my website, chriskeller.net. Send me an email and say, hi, how are you? That's all I want to do is hear from you, and then we can start from there. Wonderful. So listeners, be sure you do, and you go to the website. You can see all the little things we've talked about and more. Uh, do you do live blood analysis as well? I just caught that. Yes. In Winnipeg, if you're in the city, I do live blood analysis. It's, not, it's another way to confirm that there could be pathogens within your body, within your blood that we need to deal with. And it's dark field that you do? Dark field, yes. Dark field. So for listeners that don't know, dark field is a microscope, and it looks at the blood in a very unique way very legitimate way, and can see things that often a typical blood test might not even find. It's a, it's a very powerful tool. So you've got a lot of options in your tool chest, uh, Chris, which is wonderful. So all the things we've discussed today have been fascinating and uh, kind of just gotten started. But for where we're headed and, and needing to close the show, what would you like to share with listeners? What would be either a call to action, a takeaway, something that they could take home today and either, again, going to your website, but some aspect of this that might help them. Here's a good way to tell if something is right for you, something, if this work is right for you. I call it thinking heart-mind. So if it feels good in your heart to look at my website to check things out, that's what you do. You follow your heart. If, if you think with your mind over your heart, now you're thinking logically and you're going to be weighing the pros and cons. But if it feels right in your heart, then that is what you're going to do. That's a very well good way to say it. Follow your heart. Your heart's desire will always lead you home. I think there's even a psalm in the Bible about that, <laughs> following your heart's desire. Uh, Chris, you've got amazing work. I love your site. I love what you do. Again, I, it registers for me because this is obviously some of the same or similar concepts that I do. So I really uh, relate. So listeners, I hope you will check out Chris Kaler, and that is spelled C-H-R-I-S-K-E-H-L-E-R. And of course, it will be on my web talk uh, website. So make sure you check him out. Chris, thank you for being with me on the show today and for all the work you do in the world. And listeners, as always, be well. <laughs>